Hello and welcome to Normal Game Couch and welcome to episode 22 of the Mandleth Operation. You may notice that the uh, the house looks a little different. I um, I went ahead and I, I thought it was time for, for the, the grand change to the facade. I went ahead and I up, updated the facade. Um, I added these towers at the top. I, I, I want you to know, first off, before I give the grand tour... I didn't do anything that wasn't cosmetic. Uh, I, um, I'm trying to curate an experience here uh, on the Mandaleth operation, uh, and I don't want you to miss anything relevant. I've played this game enough where I know what's relevant and what isn't. I've watched Let's Players play this game a ton. I think I have a pretty good handle on what makes um, dynamic entertainment, what what you guys will find interesting, and um, I think watching me stack blocks for two hours is not something that you would find interesting. So that's why I did it off stream. If you wish you would have seen it, I guarantee you, you didn't miss anything. So. I made this little arch here, this like underneath the the um, umbilicus, uh, and I, you you I'm sure remember the tower on the left side. I also added a similar tower to the right side. It's kind of a watchtower. I had said previously that I wanted to put one right on the edge of this cliff, as a kind of overlook, because I think that that works really well narratively. Uh, if we're going to go ahead and assume that you know things attack from the side and we need an overwatch there. So there you go. And I added these uh, cosmetic towers to the top, these spires, if you will. And they have, uh, of course, the, um, the conical roofs. So it, 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 all, it looks very, very cool. I am pretty happy with it. Uh, the inside seems rather sterile. I am totally willing to um, hang more art on the walls, put things on the tables, etc., etc., etc. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. That's something that I, if I do, will probably be on stream, because I think decorating a castle is a pretty cool undertaking to do on the stream. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and this down here, this is a uh, thing that uh, we're going to take care of right now. This is I'll go ahead and, and, and let the cat out of the bag. This is where the mushroom farm is going. Now, this is initially where I had my, uh, my chest storage, my archives, if you will. Um, I think it makes sense to keep the mushroom farm underground, and eventually we should have a mushroom man move in. And we can maybe kind of build him a little uh, apartment, maybe like down here or underneath the, the mushroom farm or something. So uh, cool things are happening, man. Things are uh, kind of starting to happen. It's kind of becoming like, I mean, I mean, just look at this place. Like, I, it, it's completely different from when we started. I mean, when we started, I don't even remember what cell it was. Maybe this little tiny cell right here is the first thing that we built and now it's like this giant castle dude with all these people living in it and all this stuff over here so yeah we've come a long way and i'm really pleased with with the progression that we've seen i think it's it's really cool and terraria prov provides that in in kind of an unprecedented way you don't get that with a lot of games so what am i looking for here uh Hollowed seeds, glowing mushroom, moon glow seeds, mushroom, moon glow, I think we, is it the, do we use the glowing mushrooms, is that what we use? Let's, let's give it a shot, I, I don't know if this is, Hmm. I don't know if you use a seed. I, I kind of don't. It's been a while since I did this on my uh, on my other game, but let's give it a shot here. Yep, there you go. Plant one there, and uh, can't plant them upside down, can you? Oh, you can. Is that what? That doesn't look right to me. 
let's uh, let's just stick to what we know. Plant one up here. Now this should um, convert these these mud blocks into a uh, kind of a mushroom farm that we can harvest. So we'll just kind of let that happen. If that ends up not working, I'll look into it. I, I kind of thought it was seeds, but that doesn't really make sense for a fungus, does it? If you're just joining the stream, thanks for checking out Normal Game Couch. Alright. If that doesn't work, I'll look into it later. But, um... I know in the last episode I said that we were going I was going to do like all the titanium hunting off of the stream. Uh but then I ended up doing all this stuff to the uh, castle instead, this whole facade that we have going on. And uh I didn't I, I realized at the end of it that it took me like an hour and a half, two hours to make all this stuff. And I didn't want to do too much off of the uh the stream, because I didn't want you to come back to this episode and think that you missed an episode or something. I didn't want to make too much progress off of the stream. So I ended up not harvesting the uh, uh, the titanium off, off stream like I said I would. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take care of that now. One more thing I wanted to point out. I dug this kind of vertical moat here. It goes all the way around. It's six blocks wide, six blocks tall here. Continues on past the elevator six blocks tall here and then wraps around to uh, six blocks wide here and that is uh, to protect against the creeping crimson so we should be totally protected uh, against um, any kind of uh, you know creeping terrors of the crimson as it were all right so we're gonna go ahead and do some titanium hunting and uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep this from getting too stale, so I, I try not to do too much titanium hunting on the stream. Um, so it, this time I will. If, if we don't have enough at the end of the stream to make the remaining pieces to the set, uh, the, you know, the armor set and uh, the, uh, the pickaxe and everything, if we don't have enough titanium after today's episode, I will stream. I I, I will uh, go and and uh, harvest some titanium off of the stream at that point. And just an FYI, in case you're concerned, um, I am wearing. Hold on, let's see here. I have. Um, okay, <laughs> for a second I thought that these two titanium pieces were. Uh, in my social slot. So I'm not getting a armor set bonus right now, but I'm kind of okay with that. I guess the trade-off is I get better armor, so I'm cool with that. And we only need one more titanium piece and then we'll get the next uh, the next set bonus. Alright, so I was gonna dig down in a place we haven't been before. Because I feel like way off to the left, uh, we've kind of mined out all the titanium. And we haven't really explored the right too much. So I want to kind of start like a new mine shaft here. I don't think this water is deep enough to be a problem if I start digging down, but we'll see. Yeah, it's not that much of a problem. I'd rather not have it in the mine shaft with me, but it's cool. Get some air here. And put down some light. How about we do this kind of thing? Whoops. Okay. And now that water is no longer a problem. That's one way to fix it. And we are digging down, down into something. Oh, more water. Excellent. Uh, let's dig around that. Let's see. Let's, there's a cave off to the right. Let's kind of... Mm, let's see if we can avoid this, this water pocket here. Uh, 
and it was down... Okay, a little bit more to the right, and then down. That should do it. And what do we got here? Is that... That's just stone. Eh. Let's see what we can see here. Get back here, blue slime. Uh, we have a uh, an altar down there, and a bunch of stuff. This opens up into a bunch of stuff. I see some uh, what I believe to be some palladium off to the left. So maybe we'll go after that. You can just kind of follow this thing down. What's hit? What's hitting me? Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Man, all right. This piece hitting my head here. Clear out a path. Alright, let's look at the map. Alright, and this just opens up down here. Piece of cake. All right, what do we got here? Is that palladium there? No, that's copper. Well, we do have some palladium off to the left, I believe. Or it could simply be like mud or something. No, that's definitely palladium. That is a strange looking stack of palladium. It almost seems like it's man-made, you know? Like it doesn't look right. Doesn't seem like it's natural. I guess that could be copper. I've never been good at telling the, the ores apart, but I do think that's palladium. Yep. So there was some copper next to it, so it threw me off. I mean, you know, palladium's still okay, I guess. We can still probably make some stuff out of it, and that's just iron. Don't even need that, and this is what, silver here? Don't even really need it, but I'm right next to it, and it's still better than copper, so we'll grab it. Alright, continue our descent. some uh, diamonds or sapphire. That's sapphire in the wall. These half blocks still confuse me sometimes. Copper. What's that there? Is that amethyst? Yeah, that's what I thought. More amethyst. Alright, that's platinum. Wow, I really suck at identifying this stuff in the darkness. I need to put down more torches, man. Alright, let's take a look at the map. That's some, uh... That's either some amethyst or some orichalcum down below us. I guess we can get, get it either way. Pickaxe, please. That's amethyst. Alright. Sometimes the colors on the map all start looking the same. It's a pretty big chunk of amethyst, actually. What we really need is the titanium. And again, if, if we don't find all the titanium that we need before the episode's over, I'll go ahead and do that off-stream. Because that's, that's, that's a tedium... Man, I'll, I'll tell you. I try not to do too much off stream, but, you know, I can't really make excuses for titanium hunting. There's a, uh, uh, a miner's wooden, like a wooden miner's shell off to the right, I guess we should check out. 
Can't really pass those up. I mean, not really anything in there that's worth it to us anymore, but we might find something. Here we go. And what is that, a bunch of copper? Yeah. These are always good for a chest or two. Sometimes you get some nice art out of these, or statues. Got a shield statue. Oh. And a chest statue. Art. And what's this? Platinum. Silver. And we might as well grab these doors, too. It's just fewer doors that I have to craft eventually. So that's good. And I think I see a little tiny bit of titanium up here. Yep. Awesome. Four pieces of titanium. <laughs> that, that doesn't really do much for us, but every little bit helps, I suppose. Ah, here we go. That's kind of what I've been looking for. That's a nice big deposit right there. Grab this whole thing. So it's kind of like a... Uh, here, let's get off of this so we can see on the map. It's kind of like a... Uh, I guess kind of like a dark green? I don't really know how to describe that color, but it's kind of like a dark, garbagey green on the map. We still need to make the chest piece, obviously, and uh, wouldn't mind having a titanium pickaxe, to be honest with you. This is the uh, palladium pickaxe we're rocking right now. It gets the job done. But I'd like something better. We're going to need something better eventually, anyway. I mean, the, you know, this is working for now, but we're definitely going to need to upgrade sooner rather than later. Throwing knife, grenade, iron skin. I like the iron skin potions. That helps us out. I think we're full. Let's put down... Uh, let's put down the safe and clear up some room in our inventory. What aren't we going to need? Yeah, that seems all right for now. Had to make a little bit of room. Grab the bottles out of that. Grab the chest. All right, let's see. Any more, like, dark green spots on the map? I'm not seeing any. I, I could be missing one or two. The map is, like, overly colorful. It's kind of hard to pick, pick out specific colors on the map, but... You know... We'll see what we can see here. You know, we're not going anywhere. We're in this for the long haul. So eventually we'll get it. Eventually I'll have so much titanium on my hands I won't know what to do with. That's the goal. Grab this iron, I suppose. Won't hurt to grab it, I suppose. All right, where's a good a good point to go down at? Hmm, all that sand down there. I kind of want to avoid that. I see a, a heart piece in the wall. We can grab that. We can make a heart lantern out of it eventually. So it's not completely useless, even though we have our full health. Well, our pre-mode full health, or our pre-hard mode full health. We can still increase it by another 100 HP, but we haven't gotten around to doing that yet. We'll get there. All in good time. I'm not in any kind of rush here. Take my time through this game. And we got a blink root here. Lots of copper ore. I'm probably just going to ignore that. 
Ah. And I hear a worm. I got worm sign. Good old orichalcum. What's our titanium looking at right now? What do we? How much we got? Where is it? Twenty-six. It's not too bad. It's not too good either, but it's not too bad, I guess. I mean, you know, to a point, the further you go down, the more likely you are to find titanium. All right, I think we're wasting time here. We need to we need to go back down. Through here, I think this is a good break breaking through point again and some light. And we got a little chamber beneath us, a big chunk of silver off to the left. For a split second, I thought that was some titanium over there, that would have been really nice. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be too much here. Let's see what we can see. Uh, no, uh, no chunks of titanium on the map. Looks like we'll keep going down. I get in the bad habit of using my weapons that illuminate as a light source. That's a bad habit. I need to break that. It's not it's not really that good for the stream. We gotta keep uh keep light on on the situation. I honestly don't know why I'm wasting my time with this copper. I have a compulsion man. Can't help myself. Are we full up again? Yeah, we are. Okay. We'll drop the chest again. Put some more... Whoop. Hold on a second. Hold that thought. Alright, drop the chest again. Um, see if we can auto-stack any of that stuff. We cannot. What aren't we going to use? I hear something splashing around out there. I gotta make this quick. Mm, what am I less likely to pick up? Okay, that's good for now. Pick the safe back up. Alright, let's take another look at the map. Um, yeah, a couple of medium-sized caverns beneath us. We'll just keep digging down. I, I, I think the further you go down, the more likely you are to to run into, like, the high-end ores. I mean, that makes sense, right? I have been known to look at the Wikipedia page once in a while. Um, you know, the, uh, the Terraria wiki. Uh, but I do try to avoid it for the most part. But when I have a question that needs answering, I'll I'll go check it out. So, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that the further you go down, the the higher end ores you tend to see. What am I stuck on? It's kind of dark down here. Let's get our bearings here. 
another uh, another miner's hut below us. Again, those are always good for a chest or two. Statues. Seems to be where you get the bulk of your statues from. I kind of want to take out this armored skeleton because uh, might drop something that we'll need for later. Looking for the uh, armor polish specifically. That would be great if if he dropped it. Nope. That would have been great though. I'm <laughs> gonna need that armor polish eventually. Don't know why I'm messing with that iron. All right, and down below us we got another miner hut, and uh, looks like we might have another one down to the left as well, like to the far left over there. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. That could just be mud wrapped around uh, the inside of a cavern opening. Let's uh, disable this booby trap. I need some light here. It's getting getting pretty dark in here. I think we kind of uncovered a possible spider territory, though I do not see any spiders inside of it. That's good. The fewer spiders, the better. And here we are. I wonder why there's no spiders walking around trying to attack attack me right now. I think I heard something that it has something to do with the uh, the background, and there's no. Uh, why is that switching? That waterfall is like switching. Is there a? There's a button here. Oh, that's because that's where the booby trap was. I got gotcha. you, man. That's weird. That's like a weird side effect that I wasn't expecting. That's kind of interesting. That <laughs> that just occurred naturally like that. Very cool. <laughs> I like that. Never seen that before. A waterfall that is switch activated. Pretty cool. <laughs> I like I want to leave it cuz that's interesting. Like I'm not I'm not going to mess it up. I want that to stay there. <laughs> Gargoyle statue. Oh, there's a mess of enemies over to, over there to the right. Uh, nothing but pools of water to the left and below us. Hmm. Kind of trying to figure where the best place to dig up is now. Maybe through here, I guess? We got a heart piece here. That's good. We need light. Still waiting for one of these armored skeletons to drop a uh, armor polish. Oh, my controls are reversed. I was kind of wondering why I couldn't jump up there, but I was just missing the mark by like just a little bit. Alright, grab this heart here. Big cavern off to the right. That's what I like to see. The big, huge caverns. The more surface area you open up, the more likely you are to find something significant. That's, is that silver above us? That's definitely not uh, titanium, but... We'll grab it, whatever it is. Yeah, it's silver. Some topaz mixed in as well. Kill this bat. He's just trolling me at this point. All 
All right. Anything? Anything? Oh, yeah. A big chunk of titanium below us. Definitely want to go grab that. Let's get that first, and then we'll mess with these enemies after that. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty big chunk. Now that's what I'm talking about. More chunks like that, please. And I think that's a rabbit statue? And our inventory is full again. We should maybe drop some more stuff in it this time. Ah, crap. One of my biggest fears in this game is like put the the uh, safe down and then die before I can pick it back back up again. I definitely don't want to do that. Can we quick stack any of this stuff? A little little bit, I guess. Got a lot of heart pieces. If I still needed those, that would be awesome. Don't really use them anymore, but we can still use them for uh, heart lanterns, which give us a kind of a boon against uh, certain, uh, you know, bosses. If we were gonna employ that that strategy, I'm trying to think of stuff that we're less likely to pick up, but I kind of see us picking up all this stuff at some point, even underground. Okay. Can we reach over and... Yeah. Cool. Alright, let's dig out a little... Uh, a little connecting pathway here and kill these guys. And what can we see? Another one of those uh, miner huts. Underground miner cabins underground there. To the right. So go grab that. Like I said, those are always good for like a chest or two and, and statues and whatnot. Some statues can be wired up uh, to like drop hearts and things. So it's always worth picking up uh, statues when, when you get the chance. Because some of them have uh, nice effects tied to them. And what's that? Amethyst? Right on. More wood. Had a feeling we'd pick up more wood. Doesn't seem very likely underground, but you know, you find find these miner huts and Yeah, of course you're gonna get get all that extra wood in your inventory there. Yeah, some decent stuff here, nothing too earth shatteringly good or anything, but we'll pick it up. Bunch of statues. We got here jellyfish, bomb statue. Is that a statue or? Yeah, eyeball statue. That did not look like an eyeball to me, but whatever. This guy. Armor polish, please. Nope. And I see a pretty good chunk of uh, titanium off to our right. So we'll go grab that. One of these days, you guys are going to drop the armor polish I need. I 
All right, and there it is up in the wall there. That's not titanium, is it? No, I'm not that lucky. No, it's just silver or something. Uh, I do see some more titanium below us. Let me put some light out here. It's kind of dark. Kill you. Kill you, too. More light. Ah, I <laughs> almost fell into the water there. Gotta be careful about where I'm pointing that pickaxe. Speaking of water, we got something interesting over here. I think we have a... Uh, let's see what we can... Let's see what we can see here. I don't normally use glow sticks, but it's kind of necessary in this particular instance. Kill you. There's going to be a lot of stuff in this chest that we don't have room for. <laughs> and we'll go up. Oh, there's another chest up there, too. Barely see it. Or is that a mimic? Mm, I'm kind of getting mimic vibes from this one. No, it's legit. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right, let's. <laughs> we're gonna have to go back to uh, to the house eventually to unload some of this stuff. We have so much stuff in our inventory right now; it's not even funny. Auto stack. A lot of statues. This is probably the most statues I've ever gotten in one run, actually. I would say that's probably a, fa uh, a, a pretty safe bet. Yeah, okay. see what we can see. Any more titanium on the map? I don't see any in our general vicinity. There's a huge cavern off to our left. I don't want to flood it before I explore it, so I'm going to kind of do like that like up and over style digging. Let's dig up a little here, over a bit, and then down. I don't want to flood this cavern before I explore it, so... Go up and over. And I think that's just silver. I think this is a spider town. Again, no spiders showing up, so that's good. probably some spiders below us there. I see kind of a a big opening underneath all those little tiny subterranean water pockets. Hmm. There's no really 
like clear way to dig through all this stuff. It's kind of a really just kind of a random modeling of biomes and whatnot. There's no path that's like obvious. Like there's no obvious path through all this stuff. Mm, okay. Oh, a rock just kind of fell. Almost got me, but it didn't. Alright, what is this? That's not titanium, is it? No, it's platinum. What's our inventory looking like? Getting full again. Uh, next time it gets full, we'll just go back to the house. Because uh, we could keep doing this indefinitely. Like, I haven't even touched my piggy bank yet. Um, but, you know... We're not staying out here forever. We get, we do have to go back eventually. And to our credit, we actually have 90... Uh, we're sitting on 90 um, ore right now, which is pretty good. This isn't the stuff we need, is it? That's just silver. Eh. I tell you, you're in a position of power when you can turn up your nose at silver. I think we got some... Is that platinum in the wall there? I think it is. It's it's rare that I saw it in the world before I saw it on the map. I normally scout ahead with the map, but just saw it in the world. It's a nice little surprise. Pretty big uh, deposit of it as well. We probably have enough to craft our, um, our chest plate by now. I don't recall if we have any in, in storage at the house. Kind of thinking of heading back. Let's look at the map real quick before I decide. Any more on the map? I'm not seeing any. There's a big cavern off to the right that I kind of think we should check out real quick. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Stuck in these cobwebs. I'm normally not one to turn up ore, uh, but, I mean, we don't really need the silver right now, and I'm, I'm really just kind of uh, focusing on the titanium at the moment. If I wasn't so, f like, purpose-driven toward titanium, I'd probably pick up, like, every ore that we saw. But, uh, I'm totally focus-driven here, dude. I mean, I, I am getting distracted, so I guess that's kind of disingenuous to say that, but... Mm, this is probably gonna do me in as far as uh, whoop, as far as inventory space goes, right? Let's get rid of this dart trap. Got a couple spaces left. And what is that? Is that anything? Little tiny deposit of titanium ore. I'll take it, man. Every little bit helps. Alright, we got one of these guys down here. I kill these guys every chance I get because I'm always on the lookout for their uh, armor polish drop. I never get. I've been trying for like over a hundred hours across two different characters to get that drop. It just keeps not happening. Yeah, I think we're kind of, we're, we're getting kind of into some old territory here, so... You know, let's go back to the uh, the house and see what we can do. Let's kill this worm first. 
Oh, I see some stuff be below us real quick, too, that we should probably grab. All right, come on, worm. Get back here. I'm this close to another miner's hut, so we should probably grab this stuff before we head back. I hate to get, like, this close to something, like, relevant and then just ignore it. Hmm, what can I drop? I'm not really interested in pulling the, uh, the safe out again. I'm not going to use a gravitation potion, but I can sell it, though. Uh, okay, I'm going to pull the safe out again. I, w I totally wasn't trying to do this, but... Hello? Get out of here, please. One last time, and then we'll go back. Just quick stack. That should be good enough. Okay. I mean, that was a pretty successful run. Yeah, the uh, the mushroom thing isn't working. I, I'm, I think I have to put mushroom seeds down. Is that right? This chick's a druid. Does she sell them? Grass seeds, hollowed seeds, jungle wall. I'll look into that off the stream. Yeah, you know, the part that's confusing me about it is I'm pretty sure that's the way I did it with my other character. Oh, look at this tree that's growing, like, through our thing. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. I guess we got to chop that one down, huh? It's growing... I, I would I would, I would, have left it if it wasn't growing, like, through our wall there. Whoops. Wrong thing. All right. Uh, let's see here. We might have some uh, titanium in our storage here. Let's just look around. I don't remember if I had any left over from the last episode. I am not seeing any. Oh, here's some titanium bars. Okay. So I guess we did have a little bit. And we can smelt this into ingots. Here, let's, let's do the titanium first in case we run out of inventory space. All right, so we have 28 uh, titanium bars in our inventory. We still need to make the uh, breastplate and the pickaxe. I'm going to put the emphasis on the breastplate and then make the pickaxe if we have enough left over, which we probably won't. Uh, all right, so let's see here. Breastplate, titanium, breastplate. Did I pass it? Oh, it would be here. There it is. It takes 24 uh, bars. So yeah, we won't have enough for the pickaxe, but but now we have a complete set of titanium armor, which is a pretty significant benchmark, in my opinion. And uh, let's see, we become immune after striking an enemy. That makes it so that the next time we're attacked after we attack an enemy, uh, we don't take any damage. So that's actually a pretty huge boon, and uh, kind of makes this this armor relevant even into the end game. Uh, so that's that's a really good uh, that's a really good armor bonus. And just for kicks, how much titanium bars do we need for the titanium pickaxe? Uh, Eighteen, and we have what four left? Yeah. So I'll be doing that off the stream. I'll, I'll go harvest a bunch of titanium off of the stream. Uh, let me just look at my itinerary here. Uh, let's see. Destroyer. Well, I think we'll save the destroyer for the next episode. Because, uh, I mean, I would love to do it now, but how much time do we have in the night? I can tell where the moon is. Hmm. Oh, you know, we can't do that yet, though, because there's a weapon I wanted to craft before we before we fought the destroyer. Speaking of that weapon, let's see if we can make it now. It was the, uh, uh, 
what is it called? The Golden Shower. And it is... Is it... Where is it? I, I don't remember if I have the recipe for it yet. We have to make it at a bookshelf, I believe. It's a magical weapon. I'm not even really sure where it would pop up in the inventory. but we'll, uh, Or in the craft menu. What we need is... Oh, yeah, I don't have enough for that either. We need 30 of these. Um, I'm not going to harvest those off the stream because I haven't really fought a bunch of those, uh, the guys that give those yet. So I think that'll be good for the stream. I, 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 when I do a new thing for the first time, I like to make sure I get that on the stream. Uh, let's see, what else can we maybe do real quick before I turn the the stream off? I mean, that's basically all I had planned. So I guess we'll go ahead and call that the stream then. Uh, be sure to uh, check out next episode. Check the schedule below. Uh, we do this every Wednesday at twitch.tv slash Payton underscore NGC. Uh, links are everywhere. I'm on Reddit. I'm on Twitter. Whatever, man. I'm, you can pretty much find me anywhere. I'm all over the internet. So uh, thanks for watching. I've been your host, Payton. Thanks for watching Normal Game Couch. See you next time.